Hey guys, welcome back to the channel where we break down the hidden systems inside your car in simple, clear language. Today, we're tackling one of the most overlooked yet most important parts of your vehicle, the radiator and cooling system. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how it works, what can go wrong, and how to make sure you never get stranded with an overheated engine. Trust me, this is one video you'll be glad you watched all the way through. Imagine this. You're cruising down the highway, music blasting, windows down, and suddenly you see steam shooting out from under your hood. Your temperature gauge spikes to the red, and within seconds, your relaxing drive has turned into a roadside nightmare. Which has happened? Most likely, your cooling system failed, and the main hero that could have saved you from this mess? The radiator. A quick reminder to subscribe, like, and share this video. First, let's set the stage. Your engine is basically a controlled explosion machine. It burns fuel thousands of times per minute to create power, but all that energy comes with a side effect, heat, a lot of it. Without a cooling system, your engine would literally overheat and break down in minutes. Think of your cooling system as the body's sweat glands. Just like sweating cools you down when you run, the radiator and cooling system constantly regulate your engine's temperature, keeping it in that perfect zone where it runs efficiently and safely. So what does the cooling system actually do? In simple terms, it removes heat from the engine, releases that heat into the air, and then repeats the cycle as long as your car is running. Coolant, a mix of water and antifreeze, flows through the engine, absorbs heat, then travels to the radiator. The radiator acts like a giant air cooler, releasing the heat as air passes through its fins. The cooled liquid then cycles back to the engine to pick up more heat, and the process continues as long as your car is running. Let's break down the key parts of this system so you know who's doing what. 1. Radiator, the star of the show. Picture it like a big metal grid with tiny tubes. Hot coolant enters, spreads through those tubes, and as air passes over the fins, the heat escapes. 2. Coolant. This isn't just plain water. It's specially designed to handle extreme heat in summer and prevent freezing in winter. It also protects your engine from corrosion. 3. Water pump. This is the system's heart. Without it, coolant wouldn't circulate. The pump keeps the fluid moving non-stop. 4. Thermostat. Think of it as the system's brain. When the engine is cold, the thermostat stays closed so the engine warms up quickly. Once the right temp is reached, it opens, allowing coolant to flow. 5. Cooling fan. Ever been stuck in traffic and heard a loud whirring sound from the front of your car? That's the cooling fan kicking in to pull air through the radiator when natural airflow isn't enough. 6. Hoses. These are the arteries of the system. They move coolant between all these parts. A cracked or burst hose, that's game over. Until it's fixed. Now here's why you should care. If the cooling system fails, your engine overheats. And an overheated engine can warp cylinder heads, blow gaskets, or even crack the engine block. Translation, repair bills in the hundreds or thousands of dollars. A quick reminder to subscribe, like, and share this video. On the flip side, if the engine runs too cold because the thermostat is stuck open, it wastes fuel and wears out faster. So the cooling system isn't just about keeping the engine from boiling over, it's about efficiency, performance, and long-term reliability. So how do you know if something's wrong? Here are the warning signs. One, overheating, often caused by low coolant, a stuck thermostat, or a broken water pump. If ignored, it can destroy the engine. 2. Coolant leaks, usually from cracked hoses, a leaking radiator, or a bad water pump seal. Watch for colored puddles under your car. 3. Clogged radiator, dirt, rust, and debris can block coolant flow. This reduces efficiency and makes your car overheat. 4. Faulty radiator cap, many people overlook this small part. A weak cap can't hold pressure, causing coolant to boil and escape. Five. Blown head gasket, a serious issue where coolant and engine oil mix. You'll notice thick white smoke from the exhaust or milky oil. Six, air pockets in coolant. If the system isn't bled properly after service, air bubbles can stop coolant flow, leading to overheating. Seven, corrosion and rust. Old coolant loses its anti-rust properties, allowing metal parts of the system to corrode from the inside. Maintenance tips to keep your cooling system healthy. One, check coolant levels regularly, at least once a month. Always top up with the recommended coolant, not just water. Two, use the right coolant. Different cars use different coolant formulas. Mixing the wrong ones can cause sludge and blockages. Three, inspect hoses and belts. Look for cracks, swelling, or leaks. 
replace them before they fail, especially before long trips. 4. Flush the system. Most manufacturers recommend flushing coolant every two to three years, or as your manual says, this removes dirt and old fluid. 5. Clean the radiator fins. Dirt, bugs, and debris can block airflow. Use gentle water or compressed air to clean the radiator surface. 6. Check the radiator cap. Replace it if the seal looks worn or if it can't hold pressure. 7. Monitor the temperature gauge. If you see the needle creeping higher than usual, don't ignore it. Stop and check before serious damage happens. 8. Don't open when hot. Never open the radiator cap when the engine is hot. Boiling coolant can spray out and cause burns. 9. Check the water pump. Listen for grinding noises or leaks around the pump. A failing water pump can overheat the engine quickly. 10. Drive smart. If your car is overheating in traffic, turn off the AC and turn on the heater. It sounds crazy, but it helps pull heat away from the engine. So, here you have it. The radiator and cooling system might not get the spotlight like a shiny engine or turbocharger, but they are the quiet guardians that keep your car alive. Without them, you wouldn't make it far from your driveway. Next time you open your hood and glance at that radiator, remember it's working tirelessly every second you drive. Take care of it, and it'll keep your engine running smooth for years to come. Thanks for sticking with me through this breakdown. If you learned something new, smash that like button, subscribe for more car tips and breakdowns, and share this video with a friend who's still learning about cars. Drop a comment below. Have you ever had your car overheat on the road? I'd love to hear your stories. Until next time, drive safe, stay cool, and I'll see you in the next one.